Hello everyone, welcome back to the Let's Castle, Let's Castle series. So I've done a little work, uh, as you can see here we finished the floor, hello, is a spider or something? Uh, oh, skeleton. Uh, so we finished the flooring over there, um, I can't, I don't have any ladders to get up top and show you. Um, ladder, 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 ladder. Nope. I've been uh, farming spruce wood just to get the planks. Uh, no ladders, really? Uh, I forgot to mention, yeah, you definitely want to light up the inside here. Otherwise, you'll end up in trouble uh, with a lot of, of mobs and monsters to, to kill and destroy. Let's go ahead and put a crafting bench up here. And uh, make some ladders. So I can get up top and we'll show you what we've been doing. The ladder is like this. So three, one in the middle, three on the side. Like so. And let's just climb up the wall. There we go. Here we go. So I finished uh, putting the flooring in. I think that needs a line of cobble. Even that out. Um, and I did notice that there was a slight mistake over here. Excuse me. So actually, what we're going to do first uh, today is fix the moon viewing room, and then we're going to go and find sheep. Uh, so I've made a pen over there, near the samurai house, where that's going to be. Uh, and we can put the sheep there and start farming the black black wool. Um, so first thing on the agenda then is corrections. Um, uh, I went ahead and took a look at my, um, my single player world, but to take this down to two. I uh, took a look at the single player world and the way I built it there is I had this only two levels high. Uh, so take this down to two blocks all the way around um, and then we'll, we'll work from there. So uh, because the moon viewing room is a little bit shorter, at least the wall is a little bit shorter on the outside. And then we're going to bring the wood level down um, and then on top you put the white, the white wall. So let's just bring this down. Like so. Oops. Uh, same thing right here anyway. And then we will take the wood off as well. This wood here. all that down and this as well so um, there haven't been enough time to get anyone's feedback um, about the snow or wool yet uh, since I just posted uh, the other video um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the snow will look like I've done some collection uh, with, I've done some snow collection, so we can kind of build a little bit with that and show you what that will look like. So, there we go. Uh, and let's put this wood up so it'll look something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is that right? I think it's right. So once again, you're not going to see uh, the way the wood goes, but we want to want this on the side instead. Do we? No, I think we're up. Like so. And... and some slabs and some stairs, so let's go make those. Some slab. Step stairs. Whoops. Stairs look like this. 
do that. That was probably way too many. And slabs. Um, let's grab this snow while we're here. Uh, yeah, I basically went up the mountain and picked off um, all the snow I could find just to, to prepare for this. So what we want to do here is we want this to come down a little bit at a time. Oops, that's upside down. So put a stair there and one there as well. And fill that back in. And then we want the wood to only kind of be like half showing. So uh, so we're going to put these slabs around the edge and that will sort of make it look half covered. Please tell me I have enough. There we go. Um, and then again we're going to put stairs here. Nope. That's not right. Put stairs here and here. Like that. So that it comes down step by step. And we'll do the same thing over here. It's there, it's there, and yeah, that should be fine, right? Um, yes, and then basically what we need to do is uh, fill in some of this with the white. So, for example, and that's going to be covered up on this side, but from the outside you can see just a little bit, right? That's one, two, three high, so it'd be two rows of white here. And this is the snow. Um, what we'll do is, I'll, I'll leave this with snow, and then uh, we'll go ahead and grab some... Uh, we'll grab some wool, and I'll put them next to each other for comparison. Maybe uh, if you guys decide what you like better, or... Or maybe I'll just go with snow because I think it's a bit brighter. Um, I can always change it. It's not that hard to change. Actually, I think that's fine. We didn't need that. Like so. That's five. And then we need to put spruce on the inside, just like the other rooms. And let's go ahead and put uh, the logs here. You want that there? Yeah, I guess. I guess so. No, now I can't get up. Probably like that. Uh, in case you're wondering how to make uh, snow blocks, you just gotta use a shovel on snow. Looks like it's snow again. Use a shovel on snow and you'll get snowballs. And then four snowballs gives you a block of snow. Not that hard, really. Uh, if, if you have uh, snowy biome. If you're using the seed that that I'm using, it should be no problem at all. So let's just go ahead and fill that in. Oh, of course. Let's just get some more spruce wood. And we can finish that off. And then we'll stop here for now, uh, with, with, with this part of the castle, I mean, because uh, we need to do some other things before we get started on the next, uh, the next floor. So that's about it over here. Um, we'll have to do the same thing over here. So, uh, moving sheep is sometimes a bit tricky. Um, they're really annoying. Uh, but basically, they will follow you if you have a piece of wheat in your hand. Uh, you just can't get too far ahead of them, or it will it will create problems. Let's put that back. Uh, we don't need the stake right now. 
and we should have that guy over here. Okay, let's go. We'll see what we do with that later. But for now, yeah, what do you think of the snow? Let me know. Let me know. Do you like the snow? Trees will. As you can tell, I've been farming trees. So there are some sheep in this direction. Oh. Hi. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, there are some sheep in this direction. We have to get them through the water, which is really kind of annoying. Hello? How'd you get there? Yeah. We'll just let you stay there. There's, see, there's one. But there are more over here. Like, a lot more. So, as I was saying, uh, they'll follow you if you have a piece of wheat. Um, but if you get too far ahead, they just stop. And then you have to wait a few seconds for them to... Um, look at you again, and then you can try again. It just gets really frustrating, so uh, just be prepared. <laughs> it might take a while to get them over to the pen. We only need two for breeding purposes, and then that's all we need, so about to eat. See? Hi, friends! Follow me! Follow me! I will lead you to domestication. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah, if you get too far ahead, they'll stop looking at you. You're just screwed, because they'll start to wander up. Yeah, yeah, I have wheat. I know, you guys must be hungry. Too bad. If I feed you now, you'll just have babies. Let's go, let's go. Can you swim? Oh, see, see, we lost some. We lost some. We still got three. We still got three, so that's okay. And a cow. We've got three and a cow. Three and a cow. We don't want the cow, but... <laughs> no, one, two, one, two, three. Where's our pen? That direction. One, two, three. Okay, let's go. Oh, this cow. Oh, crap. Okay, look at me. Okay, so that's what happens. Um, they lose interest if you get too far ahead, and then you have to wait for them. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Let's go. Stupid cow. Oh, too many cows. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain, right? That's, that means we have a lot of leather and, uh, and beef. But I don't want the cows right now, I just want the sheep. <laughs> oh my god, so many cows! <laughs> it's a stampede! Alright, let's get you guys, excuse me, let's get you in here. No? Anyone? You can come in. There's one cow. I don't want cows. Like I said, two cows. Cows, 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 cows. I want the sheep. I want the sheep inside. Come on. Okay, gotcha. So now what we'll do is we will close the door. Whoops. No, no, no. Come on in. Inside. There we go. And let's kill the cows. Sorry, guys. 
Didn't want you in here. Um, I made it nice and easy for breakfast. Sorry, guys. That was a mistake. So, as you can see, like, if you give them a piece of wheat, uh, they'll go into love mode, like so. Oh, and now he's out of love mode. You give him a piece of wheat, uh, they go into love mode, and then you give another one a piece of wheat, and they make babies. Ta-da! Uh, and that's how you get sheep. Uh, so we only need two, and we can basically build them up. What I'd like to do is... Nope. I guess I didn't have to do that. I'd like to do is go ahead and get to this side just for color purposes. Come on. No. Need to go that way. And then we can dye these black. There we go. Ta da! Sheep. And leather, I guess. Uh, what we need to do now is make two of them black, and I don't have any squid ink, so let's see, we can do that real quick. Squid will spawn in any, um, any water that you might have, so um, if you don't have a river or a lake, uh, you can just put a bunch of water, like make one, and, and squid will, will spawn there. Did not get any ink sacks. Uh, killing squid will give you ink sac, which is used as a black dye. So that's what we, we need one more. Uh, the ink sacs are used as black dye, so you can dye uh, glass or wool or so many caves. Not now, not now. Need one more squid. So I haven't played around with, there we go, I haven't played around with uh, stained glass too much, but I do like the wool. There we go. Let's just grab as much as we can. And be careful because you will drown if you stay underwater. Uh, one thing to know about squid is that they always swim down, so you know, if you want to make a squid farm, that is totally possible totally possible to do. There we go. Okay. Is that clay? Okay, we got the ink. Let's go dye the sheep. And I'll show you how to get wool without killing them. This might be a short episode because I think that's all that's really on the agenda today. I can't dye the baby, so I'm going to give you guys white. And you guys are black. Ta-da! Now, the green bee, I... No, of course not. It's just... I think you can breed them every five minutes. Every five minutes. Uh, it hasn't been that long, but... We get the iron, we make some shears, they're good for two purposes. Shears will cut your leaves on the tree, and they will also uh, cut the wool off of sheep. So let's do that. It only takes two. Uh, and a diagonal pattern, like this, and you get shears. Back outside. So you use the shears on your leaves like this. It's really fast. And that's how you can collect leaves. The other way to collect leaves is uh, with a silk touch, I believe. Um, which is an enchantment and we're not even anywhere close uh, to doing enchanting yet. so. For now, shears. Anyway, it's easier. So no problem. That should fall. And then, let's go get some wool. Oh 
What is that? Glitchy. So in our next episode, what I'm going to do is start uh, making the mob mob. Yeah, okay, so just right click. You get your wolf. No problem. And there's the black. Uh, I was gonna start making the mob farm, and I need to do that because we need uh, we need to make dynamite to to construct the moat, and then we also need uh, you know it's a good source of of bone meal and um, bone meal and arrows. You don't have to you don't have to make a chicken farm because God forbid I hate chickens. They're a pain in the ass. I mean, they're a pain in the butt. And that's about it. So that's how you get colored wool. Um, if we, for example, just pull that out and put the wool in there. It looks a little bit gray, right? Not so white. <laughs> yes, that one. I don't know, what do you guys think? Snow, wool. Snow, wool. That's the question of the day. So I think that'll be all for this episode. Um, just a real quick, you know, collecting sheep, making a sheep pen. Uh, just a short, short thing here. Uh, what I'd like to do then is go ahead and get started on the mob farm in the next episode. It's going to require a lot of digging a lot of mining and um, some glass and uh, knowledge of, of water. <laughs> I'll explain what I mean uh, in the next episode. So for now, um, that's all. For now, that's all. Uh, shinobi, shinobi out. Yeah, so uh, this episode is not quite over yet. Uh, we have just a little bit of extra time, so I wanted to do something special. Um, you know, we've already dedicated uh, two things to the first two subscribers, um, and they're on the wall over here. Let me show you what I've done. Uh, so we've sort of uh, have a few projects for the future. So what I've done uh, is I put them up on the wall here. Uh, as you can see, so number one was Kissing Wan, who does Hanmai Villa. Number two, Chase 8 AU, the fishing village. Uh, and today we're going to dedicate two more, two more subscribers. So number three, we're going to use it. Set up OCB. Did I spell that right? If I didn't, I'm sorry. I'll come back and fix it. Um, and she's going. She requested a haunted well, uh, so I'm going to make it a haunted. Forest. I'll do that. And then finally we have uh, before Ian McNally. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, and I'm not sure what to give you, what to dedicate to you, so if you're watching this, please leave a comment. But I was thinking uh, maybe a martial arts dojo. That sound good to you? Let me know. Uh, so what we'll do then is, as I get the first uh, top, the first ten subscribers, uh, I'll put you on the subscriber wall over here. Uh, and that way, um, when we complete one project, uh, I can come over here and take a look at the wall and say, okay, uh, what's next? I'll pull out my bow and fire shot. I don't know. Let's go see where that landed. But that's the idea, um, and this way we can decide which project to work on next, and as they get completed, uh, we can clear them out. Oh, well, I got my arrow back, so that did work. But that's the idea. Um, I'll have to perfect this system. So anyway, today I just wanted to give a shout out to Sarah Osleby and Ian McNally. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, definitely leave a comment. If you want me to change what your dedication is. As far as locations, I haven't decided yet. 
uh, so we'll keep that in mind. Um, and for those of you who haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, I'm only going to, or at least I only have plans to dedicate to the top first 10 uh, so far. So if you want your name up on this wall, let me know. Do subscribe and I will do my best. That, my friends, is the end of this episode. So thank you for watching. Uh, tune in next week for episode 5 and we'll get started on that uh, that mob farm over there. So, thank you very much. At Shinobi out. <laughs>